Capitol Hill to Wall Street, this is Politics and Profits with your host, Rick Amato. Welcome, everybody. I'm Rick Amato. It's time for Politics and Profits. We follow the trends on Capitol Hill that lead to the profits on Wall Street. We expose the hard facts of what your elected officials are doing when you're not looking. And we show you how you can profit from their politics. The American dream is alive and well, and you can be proud to call America your home. And now, it's Rick Amato. All right, welcome back, everybody. My next guest is financier and president of Blackhawk Partners. His name is Z. Ziad Abdelnauer. Before we meet Ziad, let me just mention, and you've met him here before, for those of you who have watched the show previously, uh, Ziad has a reputation and is known for uh, thinking outside the box, thinking outside of the establishment, you will, for wealth creating ideas. I cannot think of a more timely time to be uh, getting that insight and input from someone like uh, Ziad. All right, joining us this, at this time from New York City, Ziad Abdenauer. Ziad, good to see you. Thank you, Rick. It's my pleasure. Uh, you know, you have a course out called the Z Shark, and it talks about creating wealth and so forth. Uh, so, what what are your what what tips do you have for our viewers across America uh, for creating wealth in this chaotic environment? Number one, it's a question of attitude. Oh, a lot it. of people have given up already. Oh my God, my life is over. This is going to last forever. I have to lock down and wait for the government checks. That's not the right attitude. That's a loser's attitude. So now, number one, you're going to have to snap out of this. You know, because if you don't snap out of this, you're going nowhere. Attitude makes a lot of things happen. Once you have snapped out of your attitude, you're going to have to be very creative. You know, at the end of the day, talking about wealth creation, great fortunes throughout history have always been made at inflection points, not, what every, not when everything is hanky-panky. Everybody makes good money, but you're not going to make fortunes in the regular times, you're going to make good money, good return. It's only at inflection points like the one we are witnessing right now that you can create something pretty bombastic if you think outside the box. So that's number two, which is extremely important. Now, where do you, number one, uh, number three, it's really access to capital. Where do you get your capital from? There are a few sources. You can go to the venture capital firm, especially if you're a startup, but you're not going to get money from there in times like this. These guys, the money guys, are not today funding companies or early stage or startup companies. If you're not in an industry that's very much related to the coronavirus thing, like telehealth, like, like online education, uh, if you're not in one of those industries, they're not going to fund you. Because they're not going to take this risk. For them, it's undue risk. Yes, venture capital firms stand uh, over $120 billion they have under management. But you have 30 million businesses in the US. So they're not going to bail out 30 million businesses. They don't have enough money or guts to bail out these companies. So forget about it. If you're not, if, if you're not into this sector, you're going to have to think differently. Banks, banks today, you know, know also, unless you have specific relationship with your bankers, you know the problem with most entrepreneurs is that they come at the last minute, try to build relationships with bank when they need the money. You don't go to the banks when you need the money, but when you don't need it. And same thing with VCs. Entrepreneurs have a big uh, failure here. They fail in... Uh, in constantly nurturing their network of finance partners, whether banks or venture capital firms, so that when the, excuse my friends, the shit hits the fan, they have no uh, place to go to. So, you know, it's a reset. You're going to have to think very differently than the norm. You can't follow the crowd. You can't get, uh, you know, discouraged, etc. 
you're going to have to start working your network very hard. Customers, suppliers, finance partners, etc. Online is the way to go. That's another thing. You know, if you're not online yet, a few people are not yet online, but some of them are not aggressively going online, is the way to go. Forget about uh, the physical locations. This is going to change. I foresee a huge meltdown in commercial real estate. A lot of people are not going to go back to their offices. All those people in commercial real estate, you better find another job or another career opportunity, rather. That's going to go tumbling, not just Manhattan, but also all the big cities, Chicago, LA, etc. Huge drop. So you're going to have to be nimble. You're going to have to be a master networker to be able to overcome this and stay on top, not just uh, thrive, not just survive, but also thrive. That's my short answer. And when you say online, um, can you be more specific? Are you, are, you, are you saying sell products and services online? Or are you saying... Yes, sell products, services online, have a developed website, uh, build the brand on social media, through your blogs, through your posts. Look, there are two ways of marketing yourself. Okay? There's the push strategy and there's the pull strategy. Push strategy is going there and making cold calls and following people to get your, your product, to, to move your product. It works, but not that much. Because when you push, when you use the push strategy, you're on the defensive. You're waiting for the other person to react and you're pushing. It's like you're a bit desperate. And most of them can't push their products in a smart way. They look and sound desperate. The pull strategy is different, is that, is that by bringing them to you, to the fore. How do you do That's what I do. I never, ever use the push strategy. And that's for on people. That's for online companies. Exactly, Rick. But pull strategy, by bringing them to you. How do you bring them to you? By being very voiceful on the, on the net, on the web, by writing a lot, by interacting a lot. That's how you draw interest, where people say, it's interesting what this guy is saying. I need to talk to him. I got so many referrals from people who just wrote a blog, who just read a blog. I said, that's very interesting. I need to talk to this guy. Maybe this guy can help me in my space. Each one can do it in his space. To, to basically recreate yourself, your identity as an influencer, as a thought leader, etc. Each one of us should become a thought leader in his space, in his industry. This is how you create the buzz and you create the sales and you create the whole environment. You know, rather than spending zillions of dollars on marketing people who are going to push stuff on physical locations that are very costly, you're going to have to be smart about it very nimble, very smart, and focus pretty much on the bottom line, on the bottom line. Cash flow is king. Cash flow is everything. It is everything. Cash flow will keep you free, will give you, will give you more guts to be more opinionated. Even if you have to buck the crowd sometimes, like I do all the time, you know, yes, you create enemies, but you create friends. But at the end of the day, as Winston Churchill used to say, if you don't stand for something in your life, you know, uh, what's the purpose? Ziad Abdenauer, we're out of time right now. We fit in a lot of, you fit in, I should say, a lot of great information in this short time space. I love what I heard, push and pull strategies. The idea is to be in that pull mode. You can do that online. Now is the time, as you say, to remake oneself and uh, cash flow is king. Uh, your website, please. All right, uh, and we'll show the website across. We'll show the web screen across across the screen here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Back. Back after this.
Politics and Profits with Rick Amato is brought to you by Liberatory Accounting, the IRS problem solvers. To find out how Liberatory Accounting can help you, call 877-6-SOLVER. That's 877-6-SOLVER.